In this award show, we are celebrating the successful startups and the heroes in the startup ecosystem. But as you know, there is one big challenge that is hitting all heroes and small businesses at the moment, the COVID-19 pandemic. For some, it's been catastrophic, yet for others, the crisis presents significant opportunities. To get a grasp from a more analytical point of view of this uncertain future the pandemic causes, we have invited Ulrik Harald Bie, an economic editor at the Danish morning daily newspaper Berlingske. Welcome, Ulrik. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you so much for coming. Um, how has the economy changed in the startup ecosystem in the Nordics? I, I think that this has been a pretty uh, crazy year for, for everybody. And I, I think uh, some projects have been uh, thrown off course um, and some have thrived. I think what we definitely have seen this year is that digitalization has has been big uh, everywhere. Um, it's also been quite obvious that some countries, not in the Nordic region, but some countries are far behind in a rolling out a workable infrastructure. But that also that digital solutions and uh, in the corporate world probably was not as advanced as we thought going into the year. So that I think is the most important area uh, that has been uh, growing. And I also think that's the most important moving out of the Corona period. I do think that's what we will take with us how important this is. We also see in, in households that investments and digitalization, then having the flexibility to, for those of us who can, uh, to work from home or from elsewhere, that is one of the big things we're taking with us. So I think that is what probably has been the most significant, mm. um, say, thrust going forward also because it was part of a mega trend already mm. that we digitalization was one of the big themes of uh, of this decade um, but now we got a, a big push uh, very early on it is like a living uh, laboratory of social change that we have now which uh, habits do you think will stick around that's a very very good question and you're absolutely right as an economist this has been a uh, live survey with seven billion participants unwilling participants but they're all there and uh, it is it's a very very good question i do think the flexibility the ability to work from home from time to time mm. is going to change um, but not so much in the nordic region um, our uh, workplace laws are quite strict so if you have forced to work from home you need a desk you need a workstation that actually fulfills we all install that by now well are you going to have that permanently in your living room we Maybe not. Maybe not. And Anglo-Saxon world has a, is very different. And we see it in, especially in the rest of the world, that what people are doing is buying homes outside the big cities. Mm. And I think a city like London is going to be absolutely horrifically hurt by this mm. because people don't come into work, which means they don't buy sandwiches for lunch. They don't go to the pub in the city. So places like that, places like New York, some of the big cities also in Southern Europe, I think are going to see a huge change in the way the cities work mm. uh, because we're going to move out. But not so much in the Nordic region because we actually have quite a lot of space. Mm. When we live in the big cities, we don't live with three roommates until we get married and then we live with other roommates <laughs> kind of way. So, so you, you do have more space, you have more greenery, you have more clean and open spaces which also means the city is not as scary as it is if you live in London or New York, where conditions for most people are not that great. Thank you so much, Ulrich, for coming. It was You're a welcome. pleasure.